Hey Toy fans and welcome to another toy review, this time for a Kinex Family Guy set review. This looks awesome. We do get Peter and we also get the station wagon included in this set. It does have an age recommendation of 8 years and above and does come with 110 pieces. Will cost around $14.99 to purchase. We do get all our favourite characters as well that we can collect in these Kinex Family Guy sets we get two pack figures that you can get. We also get the Tom Machine and this set which is of course Peter and the Station Wagon. But let's open this one up and see exactly how cool this set really is. So here we have it all constructed. Let's have a look at Peter first. Peter is wearing his suit for this version of the figure. Again, a really nice looking headpiece, the same as all these Family Guy Connects figures. We do have moving limbs as well, hands, head and legs. Now, I do like the figures with these Family Guy Connect sets, but the sets themselves aren't very good. This one is better than Stewie's Time Machine. It is more solid, whereas Stewie's Time Machine is very, very flimsy and keeps falling apart. We do have... A couple of working parts on this as well and a couple of sticker applications and the roof section is a cardboard piece which I don't like at all now there is a section in there where you can put Peter all you have to do is remove the legs and then you can push Peter down onto that peg and when you take him out you can put his legs back on if you want to do so the wheels don't seem to be moving very well. If you push down on the top though, the wheels will go around altogether. So it can be used as a functional vehicle for play purposes. Uh, it does feel a lot more solid, even though I don't like the builds with these Connect sets. When you compare them to the likes of LEGO, even Mega Blocks, uh, the build on them isn't as entertaining and can be a little frustrating at times when some of the pieces don't go together very well. Well guys, there you have it. I can recommend the figure and I can slightly recommend the set, even though I wouldn't pick this as my first choice if I was going to buy a set. Well guys, thank you all very much for tuning in to this review. Please do feel free to check back next time and I hope to see you all then here on Toy Review TV.